Hey everyone! It has been a while since I have hopped on here and done any sort of update, so I thought now would be a great time. Sometimes these intros are very awkward to do. I wanted to hop on and do a brief update on my life just to check in, make sure you all are doing okay, to let all of you know that I am doing okay, and to just kind of let you know what my plans are for this summer. In case you don't already know, I recently got married. Owen? Are you doing your video? Yeah, come in here. Oh, sorry. You guys are being so loud. What? We're done. We're just, what were you guys we're doing? Put everything away. They're being so loud. Come here. <laughs> Oh, and this is Owen. I was just telling them that we recently got married. Yeah, in October. In October. <laughs> so, semi-recently. Semi-recently, yes. And we just bought a house in Virginia Beach, and so we've been getting that together during this quarantine time. So, um, silver lining, it's been great to have his help. Yeah, but, it's been great to be home. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah he hasn't been working. <laughs> but yes. We got married in October and took an amazing three-week honeymoon in New Zealand. I videoed all of that so you can find the playlist below linked in the description. And I quit my job in Washington and moved out to Virginia to be with Owen. We bought our first home together and we have just been, you know, getting everything put away and unpacked, which is very time consuming as I'm sure most of you know. But to be honest, it has been so much fun just being with Owen finally and you know buying our first home together and getting to make those memories. All of these pieces needed to come together quite quickly because Owen was supposed to already be deployed. He is a diver in the Navy and you know I was trying to move out here and us buy a home and get settled in right before he was leaving. However, his deployment recently got just pushed back a little bit. So you know we're waiting for him to deploy any day now. But as I'm sure all of you have heard, the coronavirus has affected many, many people and many jobs and many situations across the world. And so right now, um, we don't actually know when Owen is deploying, which is you know, a blessing in a lot of ways, but also it's hard to not know when your loved one is going to walk out the door for six months. But with the fact that Owen was going to be deployed and I moved to a new state and didn't have a job, I thought this would be a great time to do another through hike this summer. I was planning to hike the Continental Divide Trail going northbound starting late April. I had my flights booked, I had my shuttles reserved, you know, all of my transportation locked in and ready to go. I changed some things up on my gear, so I bought new gear and have all of that taken care of and um, just really trying to make most of the distance that Owen and I will be experiencing together. So I was like, hey, this is a unique opportunity and a privilege to through hike again. I choose the CDT, this is gonna be awesome. But because of the recent news of the coronavirus and the fact that the major trail coalitions, including the CDT coalition, have expressed concern um, regarding the coronavirus on the trail and even have gone so far as asking those currently hiking to get off the trail and those who are planning to hike in 2020 to postpone their hikes to, you know, next year. I take that very seriously and out of respect mainly for these trail associations, I decided to cancel slash postpone my through hike until we have more information on the coronavirus and when you know, the government and these trail coalitions feel like it's safe for us hikers to be back on trail. I know that I am not the only one who has had to cancel a through hike. And I especially can't imagine how hard it would be to cancel your first through hike that you have been planning and dreaming about for years. But I do honestly feel like it is the responsible thing to do right now, especially if the trail associations are the ones urging us to not hike and to get off trail, I feel like at least we should be respecting them because those are the people and the organizations that basically make our dreams come true of through hiking any long trail. So 
even if the only reason you weren't hiking or I'm not hiking is because you are trying to respect you know, the trail organizations and the trail communities and their wishes, then so be it. But as of right now, I am not going to be hiking northbound on the CDT, but I am still hoping that I will be able to southbound the Continental Divide Trail this summer. Of course, I'm going to wait to see what happens, but you know, that's, that's my hope for right now. You know, fingers crossed that I can still do the trail. Originally, I was debating if I wanted to go northbound or southbound anyway, and actually, I think southbound would have been better for me and the CTT, but because Owen was supposed to be deployed, it made sense for me to go northbound so that I could be hiking the entire time that he was gone and then be able to make it back home before he does. Obviously, you know, I want to be there for when he leaves for deployment and I want to be there when he comes home from deployment. So if I go southbound, you know, him and I have already talked about what that would look like, meaning, you know, I may not be able to be at home in Virginia when he gets home from deployment, which seems really awful, but, you know, we're trying to figure something out if if it comes to that. But, you know, Owen is extremely supportive and, you know, we're going to make something work. But that's only if I do get to hike southbound, which, like, I'm just really hoping Starburst needs to get back on trail. Okay. If it doesn't happen in 2020, I am 99.9% .9 positive I will be attempting to hike in 2021. And yes, I had so much fun vlogging the first time on the Pacific Crest Trail that I will be doing it again. I don't know how I'm going to be doing it, if I'm gonna do every day like I did on the PCT or maybe just do several days grouped together, who knows? But yes, I definitely want to you know, share the videos with you all. I had an absolute blast doing it and I'm sure it'll be the same this time around. So that's my main update. Um, yeah, I am quarantined. I am isolating myself. I have been for about two weeks now anyway. Um, it made it pretty easy because I needed to get the house together anyway. Um, and Owen and I have been trying to spend a lot of time together because any day now he could be sent off um, to be deployed, but yeah, we're just staying home and trying to stay safe and just every day just Hoping to read some really good news on the coronavirus online You know, it's been pretty like dark lately. It's hot in here, but on to some good news I've got my website up and running again I'm starting to blog again. So please make sure to go to my website and sign up for my like newsletter I'm still trying to form a newsletter, but basically if you sign up with your email, you'll get notified every single time I post a blog. I'm hoping to take this, you know, downtime and blog more and really get into some gear and um, some of my experiences on trail and with traveling like to New Zealand to hopefully share with others and people can read and benefit from. Please make sure to go check that out. That will also have, you know, other resources like, you know, other videos and my gear lists and things like that. So that can be all in one place, like one big hub, which I'm really excited about. There's not a lot on there right now and the stuff that is on there, most of it is pretty old, but I will be posting, you know, more and more obviously in the next coming months. Another thing I'm really excited about is I got more stickers in. Here we go. I know that some of you have already purchased some of these from me, but yeah, I got more in and they're actually on sale on my website or you can privately message me on Instagram, which is honestly like the best way to contact me. And I can actually sell them to you for cheaper because I don't have to deal with all the online credit card fees that I have to pay. So if you want one of these stickers or two or three or four to put on your laptop or your water bottle, I know people put them on their cars or just to have, this is such a great way, an easy way to support me and you get something in return. Let's do a little up close. There she is, that is the sticker. So on my website, I have these selling for $5 for one, which is kind of expensive, um, but there's so many fees online. But if you message me through my Instagram, um, I can sell these to you for much cheaper and I'll just mail them to you, you know, free shipping. I was selling these for $4, but really like 
if you can't afford that or you want to buy several like you can just send me a price and i will most likely accept it so these are just really fun for me to see all of you like put on various objects like your bear canister or something like i have one on there i know other people put some of these on their bear canisters before they hiked so yeah i have I have a lot, you know, this is just a little stack. Um, so yeah, please let me know if you want one of these. Like I said, you can order it through my website using a credit card if that's easier for you, or you can just message me on Instagram and then I'll have these in the mail tomorrow. Okay, that's enough, okay. That's like, There you go. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Is this still recording? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you just grabbed the whole glass like that. I got it. Show him how you just grabbed the glass. Like this? And he just chugged it. It's wine. <laughs> it's what? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Love you. Do you have anything to say? You can't put me in the video unless I look good. So like earlier. Do you not look good? I have crazy hair. Well, you, I have crazy hair. We both have crazy hair. Film away, my love. Hmm? Film away. I'll be done soon. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to try to extend this like I normally do because I can just ramble and ramble as you all know. Um, <laughs> oops. Please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and it lets me know that you wanna see my videos, which is awesome. Please let me know in the comments below of any like blog posts and or videos that you would like me to make. I did buy some new gear for the CDT and so I'm excited to really test it and you know show you what I changed and why I changed it. So that'll be coming pretty soon, even though I don't really like to do like gear review items if I haven't like used some of this gear long term yet but either way I'm gonna try to like get some of that kind of content out since I don't have anything to do for a couple months and it's something that I really think can help whoever follows this channel. I did not brush my hair for you all I'm so sorry and I actually am growing my hair out so there are my roots there we go okay you don't have to brush your hair or put jeans on when you're quarantined. See, I got leggings on. Yep, and a sweater. Haven't brushed my hair, it's fantastic. I truly hope that all of you are healthy and safe and going to be okay during this, I think, somewhat scary time. But I truly believe that if we just follow the guidelines and we stay quarantined and we just make sure to not interact with other people and don't leave your house if you don't have to, this will all pass sooner than later, which is I think what we all want. So let's just kind of bunker down and let's be there for one another. If you specifically need help and you think I can help, please message me on Instagram at the whimsical woman and I will do my best to help you in whatever way that I can. And I am 100% serious about that. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for just being here with me through the years even when I haven't done anything or posted anything, just the fact that you're still here means a lot. I'm really looking forward to through hike again, whether that's this summer or next summer, hopefully this summer. But yeah, I just, I can't wait for another adventure like that and to share it with you all. And although this is, like I've said, a pretty scary time, I'm positive that we can come out through this, learn from our mistakes, be better, do better, and mainly, once again, just learn how to support one another in our communities, especially those who are in need. I also wanna know what others are doing during this time of this quarantine and how they're staying sane, um, being trapped at home. Owen and I went for a walk today. It was so nice outside, and we're just trying to figure out things that we can do at home to keep our bodies going, to keep our minds like happy and, it's really easy to get, you know, maybe a little bit depressed 
being stuck at home, not being outside, moving like normal, seeing your friends, socializing. So if you have any tips on how to make sure that we all are doing well, not just like health-wise, but mentally, please put it in the comments below so other people can read it and maybe get some you know, tips and advice from you. Thank you so much for continuing to just watch my videos and even though I'm not really doing anything exciting, it just it means a lot and I really hope that coming up soon, one of the next videos that you will see are of me hitting the Continental Divide Trail to attempt another through hike. Also, please have Owen in your thoughts and prayers as he potentially is getting deployed. The coronavirus isn't the only like threat in our world today and so I'm really proud of my husband, just him and all the other service men and women out there who are protecting our freedom. So yeah, that's all I have to say. It was great talking to you and yeah, can't wait to be back on here hopefully soon in the future as Starburst. All right. See you guys later. Please stay safe, healthy, and stay home if you can. Okay, bye.